AGI is Artificial General Intelligence. AGI means that an AI system has at least achieved human intelligence or even surpassed it. When you look at a project like this, Open AGI, what would you expect? You would expect that at, at least they have achieved that AGI and open sourced it. In this video, we will be installing it and we will see how it goes. And there are few lessons in this video which I will mention later on. Let's also have a quick look at their architectural diagram. Now, if you go through their GitHub repo and their project page, there are a lot of interesting things which they are referring to in theory. So this project is from AI Planet and they have started this open AGI to make human-like agents accessible to everyone. And also they say that they are paving the way towards open agents and eventually AGI for everyone. And they strongly believe in the transformative power of AI and believe this initiative will go a long way in solving many real world problems. And in its current form, they say that open AGI aims to provide a framework for developers to create autonomous human-like agents, as you can see in your diagram. Now, if you look at this diagram and then just filter it out, all the colors and uh, icons, it looks similar to what we have in Crew AI and few other very good frameworks. So from the first look, it doesn't look like it is adding anything new to me. But let's see uh, further. We will be installing it on our local system and then we will test it out. I haven't tested it, so I'm just trying to do it with you. Uh, vanilla first on. Before I take you to my local system, let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mast Compute who have provided the VM, the virtual machine and the GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus a coupon code which will give you 50% discount on an already discounted pricing. Highly recommend it. Check them out. Really good company. So let me take you to my local system and then we are going to install it. So this is my Ubuntu 22.04 and this is the GPU which I was referring to which is NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let's clear the screen. Also make sure that you have Conda installed to keep everything simple and separate on your local machine. One more thing which is bit of putting with this project is that it only uses OpenAI's API key at the moment and in some cases Azure's base URL. So at least you would need the OpenAI's API key which you can get from platform.openai.com and that is a paid option. If you don't have it, just drop in 10 US dollars in a platform.openai.com and then you should be able to get the API key because I'm not sure if they are giving the free credits anymore. So let me first create the Conda environment here and then we will start installing this thing. So this is the Conda environment I'm creating with Python 3.11. Should it take too long? And that is done. Let's activate this environment and you can see that in the parenthesis. Okay, so first up, let's get it installed. In order to get it installed, all you need to do is to do pip install open AGI, which is good. The installation is simple. You don't have to git clone anything or something. And you don't have to install separate prerequisites. Okay, so there is one thing we do need to install, but we'll do it later, which is not part of the pip package. Should be done fairly quickly. So that is done. Let me clear the screen and also install this package pip install rich. This might be needed, should be very quick. And that is done. Okay. Another thing you would need to set your OpenAI's API key in the environment, which you have grabbed from that platform.openai.com. So let me set this and clear the screen. I have cleared the screen and launched my Python interpreter. So all the installation is done. Now, as per their documentation, I'm going to just follow their quick start, start guide to see how this thing works. So we'll be exploring one of the use cases to demonstrate the execution of the agent with this open AGI. And then we will be focusing on curing search engine, such as uh, DuckDuckGo search tool to gather the information on three day trip to San Francisco. So what 
this does is it just defines an agent then it defines an action and through that action it calls a tool tool mean that just accessing any external api so let's first import some of the libraries so i'm just importing the open as and that sort of stuff that is done let's um, then get our actions here we already have set our open a key in the environment so which is good we don't have to do it again and then we can simply specify here in this variable we might use it later on that is done and now let's specify our actions so for this i'm just specifying two actions from there quick start let's define our config now this is where I had to spend some time because uh, the quick start guide is doesn't work if you try it out so you have to at least you know do some sort of changing to reach to this point so which is quite disappointing okay so you see that i have defined the config after defining the actions we are just doing two actions doctor go search to search the web and then whatever the results are to write them locally and then we are loading the open AI's model with the api key which we have set and then this is where we have initialized the llm now if you follow their quick start guide it doesn't really work at all so you have to define the agent like admin agent like this so admin is the agent which is going to decompose the task and run it so we are giving it llm we are giving it what actions to perform plan it and then also we are defining its memory so you see it has done something it has created some sort of memory so far so good and the session id has also been initialized now in order to run it you need to run this command let me paste it here and this is where some lessons to be learned so what this command is doing all this is doing it it is running the above agent which we have just created with the query and the query is 3 day trip to san francisco bay area of course you can just check it your own and there is some system prompt where we are telling the model what to do so just run it it is running various errors and then it says no task found in the planner response and this is from their quick start guide okay let me clear the screen and then i will try out another thing so this is done now first let me show you their quick start guide and then i will just follow that guide and then we will see what how to not to write a quick start guide so let me take you there so this is a quick start guide of open agi you see um, they are set first setting these so let me again set it just to make sure that i'm not missing any step so i'm just pasting it that is done already our open AI is api key is set so i'm not going to set it again where is that okay so that is done now here you see they have imported it again that is fine we am not i'm not going to import it i'm just going to get these actions go back to terminal that is done let's go back and then they have imported admin we already have done it let's do it again and then just give the actions to admin get the admin and then we will run the results so let me just copy everything and then we will paste it in our terminal there you go so it is running now again this error how cool is that that even their quick start guide by just copy pasting it doesn't work at all so this is where you know look at the you know tall claims about open agi but even the quick start guide doesn't work and i have spent like two hours going through the documentation and doesn't work at all and then if you look at few of the use cases few of the examples it it's really really uh, very poorly written so i'm not trying to throw the project under the bus but the point is that already there is a lot of hype a lot of confusion a lot of chaos out there if you're calling your project open ai 
then at least make the initial stuff and the basics right get the basics right and we understand that it is going to evolve more in the future and then um, it will go from there but anyway uh, let's go uh, let's see how it goes i will be keeping an eye on this project and then you know in the future i might also try to get it installed from the source one thing you have to give them is that it is still in uh, you know this b2 which i think means beta but let's see so that's it guys let me know what do you think if you like the content please um, subscribe to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching